Hey everyone, this time I'm going to take a look at a uh, picture dump that we got from SLS um, around the holidays. So uh, before, uh, just before Christmas and then uh, uh, another wave of pictures and uh, B-roll video um, after uh, this last week, after New Year's. Um, these are... Uh, available. These are all NASA pictures. These are all available on images.nasa.gov, assuming I can type correctly. And uh, this is also called the Agency Video Audio Image Library or AVAIL. Um, we'll often, uh, this is a place that we'll often check for, um, for new pictures. Um, and then you can also go, you can also uh, dive into albums and, and things like that. And um, so you can see uh, right now, <clears throat> as I record this uh, on January 6th, that uh, you can see in the upper left there, the uh, uh, CERT-1 vehicle for the Vulcan Centaur that's gonna be, uh, that the, uh, that's got its first launch attempt for tomorrow, um, actually overnight tonight into tomorrow. So. These are pictures that uh, that f uh, showed up here, and um, but we're going to concentrate on core stage three propellant tanks since that's what was dumped. Uh, we got one set, like I said, one set before Christmas, and then we got a couple after that filled that that filled out those sets. So um, let's actually go back a little bit. The foreshadowing in the past. So the um, this is the liquid hydrogen tank for core stage three. Um, it has uh, it has its own uh, little backstory or long backstory, um, but we can get to that uh, in, in the details later. Um, in the picture dump, these pictures were taken um, in the middle of November um, in the sort of time period right before Thanksgiving. The liquid hydrogen tank was uh, has finished its uh, internal washing and cleaning um, in cell E, which you can see it being lifted out of here. The, uh, the it was lifted out of the cell with one crane, and then the second crane was attached to break it over to horizontal, and it's being uh, it's being um, set down inside two rats. Uh, which stands for rotational assembly, I guess is rotation assembly and transportation tool. And these are used for uh, a whole number of different things. And there's different types of rats. Uh, this is, these are tank rats. Um, there are also stage rats. And I guess another one called uh, T-rat, transitional rat. Although again, some of this terminology probably uh, could have gone away in the last couple of years. But um after the tank was um, put on the rats, and you can see the roll rings for the rats now go completely around it. This is a shot from a week after the breakover um, when it was moved over to cell P. And so we go back, you can see again, you can see the uh, these are, I believe, like uh, there are three pieces to the ring, like 120 degree semicircles. Um, so the tank was moved um, out of the transfer aisle in, in building 110 over to uh, building 131, which is basically adjacent to um, building 110, which is also called the vertical assembly building. That's Michoud's VAB. And it was moved into cell P, uh, which is in building 131, where it will get uh, it, where the exterior will, will be sprayed with primer to prevent corrosion. Um, and so these are shots of the uh, SPMTs, the uh, self-propelled modular transporters moving the rats into position in cell P. And then the rats will be, the, the, rats, uh, the rats can be remotely controlled and the the rotation drives will be uh, will actually be integrated with the spray the spray system 
in both this booth, cell P, and then the booth to the right, which is cell N, which is where they will do the um, automated um, sprays of spray on foam insulation or SOFI onto the, onto the tank, but first primer. So, uh, those pictures of, of these two moves, the breakover installation of the rats, and then move of the tank, uh, into cell P, um, was, uh, you know, just dumped, um, this past week. And so the other, uh, the other set of pictures was for the other propellant tank for core stage three, which is the liquid oxygen tank. And this one was, uh, these are shots of the aft dome, a finally completed aft dome. Um, the, uh, the liquid oxygen tank um, structural assembly has been d uh, delayed for a long time now um, because they had issues with the uh, with assembling an aft dome and um, the first one the first one was welded and it was slightly out of dimension and um, NASA and Boeing started a root cause corrective actions process to um, you know find why they were having this issue. Um, we did not get a uh, an update on root cause, but um, the the upper three elements of the liquid oxygen tank were uh, which I flashed at the beginning um, have been there they are. Uh, this is back in September, um, but the upper three elements, so the forward dome and then the two barrels, um, those were welded back in 2022, and um, those have been stuck in the VAC since uh, pretty much the entire year of 2023. We're not sure when, if the uh, last weld was completed before the end of the year or um where we're still waiting to see uh, when, uh, you know, when when that happened. The um, aft dome, but the aft dome, the first article that was welded was out of dimension. So um, they, they did this root cause corrective actions process. Um, they, uh, they welded a forward dome, which has, um, a different tolerances for it than uh, than than the aft dome for the liquid oxygen tank, um, but they finally finished they finally finished welding uh, the aft dome in the circumferential dome welding tool. You can see that you can see it being lifted off of that tool in early December. This is December fifth. You know they put it on a dolly, towed it over to the building 110 where the VAC was. And these are more pictures of it being lifted off of the, uh, off the tool <clears throat> in the background. You can see, actually you can see, um, on the right, you can see the inner tank for core stage four and over here in the left, you can see a dome. This is the other circumferential dome weld tool. That one's being used for exploration upper stage. And you can see, uh, what looks like if I can scroll, if I can, Swing over there. The, the I believe that is the uh, weld confidence article uh, for the for the um, that will be used to um, validate the the welds for the CDWT number two, which is for the uh, you can sort of, sort of see it here. It's uh, you can see circumferential dome weld tool number two. Universal Weld Station One, um, that'll be used for the exploration upper stage hydrogen tank. And uh, this is a shot on De on December sixth, the next day. This is you know back with the core stage three uh, liquid oxygen aft dome. It's being um, it's being placed on the pirate ship, which is a combination of a round out a round out tool at the bottom and then a breakover fixture um, at the top. And there, there was, uh, in the B-roll that was released this last week, we got uh, 
we got um, this is one of those two b-rolls this is the time lapse so you can see uh, after it had been um, after it had um, come out of the uh, the the fixture in the roundout that had been staged in the roundout dolly is is uh, hooked up to the dome and now they're uh, breaking it over uh, they have to flip the aft dome over so that it can be welded uh, to the second barrel and they're doing that here and so then it was moved over to the uh, um, to the uh, equipment that will load the dome into the VAC you can see the uh, it, it being placed over the end feeder that's a uh, that's a tool that will help uh, that that will uh, assist positioning um, and 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 holding the the dome in place during the circumferential weld in the VAC and so that's the that's the sort of the long and short of it uh, or really the short of it I guess so after the after the tank uh, after this last weld of the liquid oxygen tank that will uh, that will actually free up the VAC for other users that uh, one of those being the expiration upper stage uh, development team which is uh, which wants to do the weld confidence um, welds um, on the there's a there's a dome to barrel weld and there's a barrel to L ring weld that they need to do in the VAC and because because the the partial liquid oxygen tank has been stuck in the VAC um, it's had a no vacancy signed up for the entire uh, year of 2023 so um, so that's where uh, that's what that's what these that's what these two image dumps uh, or three depending on how you count them um, that's what they cover and so at least at a high level so if we go you know if we go back or, or we can go into this in a little more detail now the um, we'll go back to the sort of back to the top so the <clears throat> well, we sort of covered we already covered the um we covered the breakover um actually well let's do this they there was a uh here okay that's what this is i was confusing this uh so this is b-roll of not just the breakover uh, in mid-november the 14th of the lh2 tank but then the move to sell p so um this is this is uh lifting the i beam up i'll skip ahead here you can you can see uh maybe a little bit more you can see it's being lifted up to attach to the top of the lh2 tank to lift it out of cell e um you can see the lift brackets being um bolted to the uh to the um for upper flange this is one of the tank rats being uh, being set up in the transfer aisle and tank being lifted out of being lifted out of the cell. Um, then it, then it's lowered down onto the floor so that they can install uh, so that they can hook up the second crane. You can see the lift brackets being installed on the aft flange and You can see now the second crane's been hooked up to those brackets, and now they're doing the breakover um, from vertical to horizontal. And now they're uh, positioning positioning the uh, tank with with the cranes and the positioning the rats underneath it to line them up so that it can be uh, lowered down onto the rats. And now we now the next week. Um, the SPMTs have picked up the rats and are and and it's being moved out of the transfer aisle in building 110 and over to cell P. Um, 
And so these tanks are, well, this tank in particular is so long that um, a lot of these moves have to be done, would have to be done outdoors anyway. Um, you can see building 103 in the background there, and now it's being moved into cell P. So one of the, uh, well, and so as I mentioned before, uh, the, the rats can be controlled remotely. And so those are, those will be connected to the, uh, automated spray system, um, one of the one of the things that I'm not as uh, that I that I'm not sure about is whether the domes are the primer sprays for the domes are um, uh, manual or automated. Um, I know they automated both sprays for uh, the uh, spray on foam insulation when the tank goes into cell N next door, which would be over to the right, um, but. Once, uh, once, once those primer sprays are done, um, I've got it. There's a we can take a look at. Whoops. This is what it'll look like. Uh, this is uh, going back in time and going back a build. So this is what the core stage two liquid hydrogen tank looked like. Um, after it finished its uh, primer sprays in cell P. So this is going back to, uh, let's see, it says March 3rd, 2021. So a long time ago. Um, and so after, after the primer sprays, it will be prepped for the, the spray on foam, Sophie uh, sprays in cell N. Um, these two propellant tanks will look will look different than the first two because they will not have sensor islands on them, so you won't see those uh, uh, dots all over uh, the uh, pr primarily the barrels of the tanks. Um, so it'll have less development flight instrumentation um, on the skin of the vehicle, um, but that's still in the future. And then after. Uh, after the Sophie sprays, the tank will, uh, th this tank is ahead of the liquid oxygen tank, which is a little different than the first two builds. Um, so it's likely that this tank will end up waiting for the forward join as opposed to the opposite way. Um, in the past, the forward join has, um, has more or less been, uh, completed, um, before the hydrogen tank is ready to join, but you know, um, it all, it, it depends. It cha things change from build to build. This one is different because this tank has been around for a long time. It was originally welded for, uh, for the first SLS launch. Um, but there were, uh, weld imperfections in the VAC welds. This goes back to, pardon me, to, um, to late 2016 and early 2017. And so this was set aside um, to be repaired, not this one. This was, uh, the, this is the core stage two tank, but um, the, the core stage three tank, this guy um, was set aside to develop repair techniques for it. Um, those were affected. I want to say in either tw I, probably in 2022 um and then it uh it it's gone through the rest of the it, it's gone through the production milestones since then with um plug welds proof testing and now it's gone through the inter internal clean um in cell E and now it goes to cell P for primer and then it'll eventually go to cell N for uh, Sophie sprays. And then now be, for now that the core stage build has been split into two sites with the engine section already down at Kennedy Space Center, uh, the the aft joint has been brought back to the build. The, uh, the aft end of the hydrogen tank will, will uh, come back to uh, one of these integration cells in 
in building 110 and be stacked on top of a of one of the simulators that was used for the structural test article series and um, that will that will allow that will basically make the um, the the rest of the stage that's still being produced at Michoud compatible with the existing um, full core stage transportation tools and also with the Pegasus barge so the um, once it reaches that point it will be uh, it'll essentially it'll probably be waiting for the uh, forward join to be completed and so uh, this time because of the uh, you know because of the issues with the with the aft dome and so the 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 story behind the uh, aft dome um, is that uh, the upper three quarter uh, the, the upper three of the four elements were um, I'm pulling this up. So this is actually the forward dome of the core stage three liquid oxygen tank as it came off of the circumferential dome well tool. And this goes all the way back to July, the end of July of 2022. Um, I had just been at Michoud like the week before this. It was still in the tool. Um, but this is the first piece that goes into the VAC for uh, for welding. And so back in July of 2022, it was moved over to Building 110 and uh, loaded into the VAC. And you can see... In this shot, this was a couple of days later. So, if we go back to the, it was lifted off of the dome weld tool on July 27th, and then it was loaded into the VAC, uh, lifted and loaded into the VAC on July 29th. And this was something that 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 I saw um, in that July uh, 2022 visit, which was. Um, the, this, the pirate ship tool had already been staged in the transfer aisle and both barrels, you can see them, you can see the, one of them is, <laughs> one of them is being stored in cell, in the cell A volume. And then another is here out on the floor. It's likely that this was barrel number one and this was barrel number two, since they would then take, they would then lift barrel number one into the VAC to do the first weld. So, um, at that time, they were were going to do the aft dome weld um, right away, and the the first attempt uh, the first attempt produced that out of dimensions dome, and so that article was set aside. Um, as you can see here with the forward dome, uh, the each dome consists of an end cap, a gore body, and then this ring at the bottom, a Y ring. Um, the uh, end cap comes as a single piece to uh, Michoud from uh, from the supplier. Um, the gore body is is uh, welded from a from twelve gore panels, and then the the Y rings are welded in are also welded at Michoud um, from six uh, six forgings are welded together, and then there, it's machined down to the to its the ring is machined down to the to its proper dimensions before they do this, before they do the dome welds, the two welds. And so, um, after the issues with the aft with the first aft dome, they started that root cause corrective actions process. Um, after uh, after by the time that we visited Michoud again, which was in mid October of last year, twenty twenty three, they had. Um, they had seemed to narrow down the problem to the tool that welds the gores together. And um, you can actually see it in this shot over here on the left. This is the gore weld tool. Um, it is uh, used by both uh, exploration upper stage and by core stage. But they, um, uh, now that we're out, 
now that uh, now that they have got the um, you know now you know going back to December of 2023. So now this is the aft dome again. Um, in between, they uh, it, it's fairly hard to tell, but in between those two, this is actually another forward dome that was welded on the tool in uh, um, these pictures were taken in July of last year of 2023. Um, so uh, during that process they did uh, they did weld another dome the uh, aft dome has tighter tolerances because it takes the highest uh, the highest flight loads and when they do the hydrogen they do a, a proof test on the tank once all of the welding is complete and that's a hydrostatic test in cell F in building 110 and that they will they will load uh, I, I, they won't fill the entire tank, but they will they will load the tank with water, um, and and that high, that low, that water load on the um, on the aft end of the tank will uh, proof test all of those welds, um, not just the dome welds, but then the the that aft VAC weld we're welding the dome to the bottom barrel. So um, this. This is a this is an important milestone because it signifies that the uh, that the oxygen tank can can pick up with the rest of its production, and it also means that it also means that the vertical assembly center um, will uh, will be you know will be free again. So this was again this was a shot. Um, what we're looking at here in the foreground is uh, this was September 15th. This was uh, the uh, this is engine 2047 being uh, it's already been loaded into the uh, the carrier of the engine installer and it will be it's being lifted onto the installer itself to then go back around through building 114 over to final assembly to be installed in core stage two. And of course this has all happened. Um, we're now, you know, going back, going back a handful of months. So um, the, uh, so after the, after the, one of the things that was um, released on Friday was some B-roll Let's see if I can find it. Yes. So uh, this is, uh, I was showing the, this is the time-lapse B-roll. So um, sometime after December 6th, um, the, the, the aft dome was, uh, was um, flipped over and, pre and loaded into the, into the VAC. And so that's one of the things, you know, from beyond uh, from beyond these operations that occurred before New Year's, is um, what what's the status of this final build? So looking here, that's cell A in the background. And that's one of the two stacking cells, and you can see that the rest of the liquid oxygen tank has been lowered down in the VAC into into the right position to do the weld. Pardon me. Um, so now we're looking now in the background, you can see cell D, um, cell A and cell D are, uh, vertical stacking cells. And so those will be used, um, e extensively, um, to finish the quote unquote four fifths of the core stage. Um, this is how you're, you're actually, uh, this, this is being what well, that shot was from, uh, taken from cell A, looking across to cell D with with the uh, aft dome of the liquid oxygen tank in the in the middle. Um, after the after the weld of the liquid oxygen tank in the VAC is completed, um, it will come over to one of these two cells, either cell D or cell A. Um, they will. They need to install the anti-vortex baffles in the uh, 
in the aft end of the tank. Um, after that, it will uh, go over to, it will go probably to area six, but it, it will go to some, it will go to a work site where they will do the plug welds um, for the, for all of the circumferential welds, uh, the uh, forward dome to the first barrel, barrel to barrel, and then barrel to aft dome. Um, there's a, there is a hole that's left by the weld pin. Um, well, not by the pin, but there, there, a hole is drilled to insert the welding pin into the, um, into the, it's a self-reacting friction stir weld. And so those holes have to be plugged. Um, so after they do the plug welds, then they will, they will bring the, they will bring the liquid oxygen tank back over to 110. It'll go into cell F. You can see it. You can see here. This is a, a, some closer shots of the aft dome being loaded uh, or being lowered down onto the end feeder. Um, so it'll go. It'll do the proof test in cell F, and then it'll it, then um, it'll it'll eventually then move over to cell E. It might not move directly from cell F to cell E, but it will end up in cell E to do the same internal clean that the liquid hydrogen tank just completed. And then it will do this. It will it will follow roughly the same path. It will go into cell P for the primer sprays, um, and then it will go over to cell N for the Sophie sprays. <clears throat> and then there will be some additional work that will need to be done um, to get uh, to get the liquid oxygen tank ready for the forward join, where it will be stacked on top of the liquid or on on top of the inner tank. And then the forward skirt will be stacked on top of the liquid oxygen tank. So um, those are kind of the next steps in general. Um, and hopefully, when we get to uh, hopefully when we get to um, some of those next steps, like uh, plug welding or um, internal clean or proof or a proof testing um, or for the other elements. So the engine section is a Kennedy Space Center. The inner tank, uh, the inner tank is in its integration over on the east end of 103. Um, same thing with the forward skirt. Um, both of those are in the forward structures area at MAF. Um, but hopefully we'll get some more picture dumps here um, relatively soon. Um, and actually the first one would be to see the liquid oxygen tank um, after it completes its um, after it completes its welds in the VAC, we should see it lifted out of uh, lifted out of the VAC. And so um, that will be that that will be one of the next picture dumps that we might see for core stage three. So um, I think that's it for a uh, at least a first shot at a doing one of these picture dumps and um thanks for watching and hopefully i will see you next time